am fixing my sink. The my sink got clogged, and I can't seem to do my dishes unless I put a container like what I've done here, and I have removed the pieces from them. The pieces from them, I removed both pieces from that. Here, from the actual sink, it connects into the uh, the main gutter hole that takes the water into the into the sewer. What I'm doing first, I am using this. Uh, I bought this for twenty five dollars at Home Depot, and I'm extending it. It's twenty five feet, so it should be um, long enough for it to pick up any dirt, anything that may be clogging the the, the gutter. And what I've do, what I've done, I attach my my uh, drill gun uh, to it because it has that accessibility right there. I don't know if you see it. I don't want to remove it because it's a little bit rusty. I let it get rusty for uh, for some time, so I don't want to remove it. But if you buy it for twenty five dollars, it's very beneficial. I've used it several times. And what I'm gonna do afterwards, since I know that the wire that goes into the gutter tube um, is not exactly efficient um, at removing all the trash that's in there. It makes a hole. I know because I've experienced that before. I use this device here, which I will show you later in the video how to use. Uh, and this is another reason why I'm making this video. I made another video prior to this about using this device, this, this uh, hose <coughs> and this pump here. Um, but this time I'll be able to be more descriptive about it and I'll be able to show you in detail. Uh, Alright, so what I do, uh, I usually hold on uh, to the gun from the handlebar here and then I, I press the uh, drill, uh, gun drill uh, button there and, and it, you know, basically it just, um, unfortunately I can't hold to see me drilling at it. So that's so that's the benefit of using the gun. You could use the handle and twist it, but it's faster if you do it with the uh, drill gun. I hope you guys get that. I live in a condominium and when somebody lives above you, usually the gutter is uh, tubing is the same gutter tubing that is used from the guy that lives right above you. So whatever trash he throws, uh, it ends up going through the same gutter tubing. And because of that, uh, you may think it's you, but then I know it's not me because I have those um, funnels that do not allow trash to fall into my into my. Uh, to my gutter tubing which is basically the same from my neighbor above me so I want you guys to know that many of the time it's not even your fault sometimes because the gutter is filled up with trash the water or the water from the sink from the from the neighbor above you is gonna fall down into your uh, sink which is what happened early today I ended up seeing water that I know it belongs to uh, from my neighbor and I want you guys to be aware of that because sometimes you should consider living uh, under somebody else's uh, roof. Nevertheless I'm going to stop it here. I've already did as much as I could in removing whatever uh, trash there was in the, in the water tube. It takes uh, the water into the, into the sewer. I did as all the, the full extension of that, um, that wiring and now for the next step. What this is for, sometimes this works without me doing that wiring that I did first. But sometimes it doesn't and the reason why it doesn't is because there's so much trash, there's so much trash inside the tube. When the water goes through the holes and into this uh, rubber tubing, it expands and through that hole water rushes out it's very strong and if there is a gap or a hole in the trash the 
the, a hole that you created through that wiring that you did, it's going to be easier for this to start breaking down that trash and pushing it down into the into the sewers. That's why I'm going to use that second. The way this works, with this attachment here, this device here just by itself from here, from here out, you buy it separate. That will cost me about $19 or so. That's how much I pay for that. Then this is an adapter. This section here, uh, this adapts from the hose into into the rubber tubing. And this section here is about maybe two dollars. And then there's an then the hose itself is about maybe seven or eight dollars. And 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 this is a six feet hose. And and then finally this adapter. The first thing you will need to do is remove this section of the faucet. Remove that including the rubber seal see that? can I see the rubber? alright, you remove the whole section and see how it just by itself there alright, so that's so that's the adapter that's the adapter there and I'm going to move that up here's the adapter and I'm going to plug it into the faucet Real nice and tight. And now I'm able to do the hose. This one hand job, this one hand deal doesn't work. And I'm gonna try for you guys because I want you guys to see how it's put together. I have a video that I didn't do a very good job and I'm aware of it, so that's why I'm doing this one. Alright, so now that you see, I'm gonna stop it. Alright, so I stopped it so I can tighten it up real nice so water doesn't come off. I think I, I did a, I think I did a good job there. And I want to show you how that rubber tube expands when you pour water into it. And here we go. I have a bucket here. And that bucket will allow water to fall from here down so I don't get everything wet even though I kind of done a little. Here we go. rushing as strong as it does and bring the dirt out or the trash out into the sewer water into the sewer um, and then it should be cleared out at this point uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put that in but first I need to tie up the, the, the hose uh, from the end of the rubber tubing as you saw earlier okay now that I make sure that I have a good seal I'm going to place um, the rubber to be the, the rubber cylinder into the tubing. You can see. You guys can see that, right? It's as simple as that. Also, make sure you don't push it all the way to a point where, where the gutter tubing or so this, this tubing here uh, turns. Because if you do, you won't be able to push this back I'm, and the angles the metal was touching against the corner side and I wasn't allowed to and, I, and it, it will not allow me to get the hose out 
So make sure you you just extend it to uh, until it until the edge, like right now. Also, when you're done uh, for 10-15 minutes and you turning it off from here, make sure you do it slowly and gently. Because if you don't, it's just gonna pop out the cylinder filter. This the the rubber cylinder is gonna pop out incredibly fast, and it's gonna get wet all over the place. So make sure when you're turning it off, when you're turning the water hose off, uh, you do it gently. For now, gently on. And you see, it's gently pushing the water out. But now I wanna, I wanna put as much force as I need to put so that it can continue doing so. So it's working the way it's supposed to be. Although I didn't create a full seal there, so I put this rag. See that? I didn't create a full seal, that's alright, because it's still doing its job. You see how the rub ring is, is extended out? Well, it's extended out because it's pushing water in, but you know all the water is going in, there's nothing else. Um, the water is, is being pushed out, so I think it's doing its job. And uh, I'm gonna give it about 10 minutes, and then uh, and I'm gonna test it out. Or maybe I'm gonna give it about 10 minutes, and then I'm uh, gonna give it a little rest, take that water out. It's filling up already. But that's from the um, from that leak there, and also from the leak um, from the leak of the hose dripping down. And once it fills up a little bit, I'm going to remove the bucket and uh, go at it again for another 10 minutes. Alright, see you then. Okay. I've been letting the water run for about 15 or 20 minutes or so. And uh, my sink is finally fixed. <coughs> I've already attached the tubing directly into the gutter tubing. Uh, so you see that everything is fine. A few things I wanted to tell you before I, I, I go ahead and log off that are very, very important. Remember that if you have a neighbor on top of you, when you put in the hose, the water hose, sometimes you think you unclog the gutter tubing, but you didn't because what's going on is that when the water is, is pushing uh, the trash in the gutter hose. Sometimes it doesn't go through, but what it's doing is going up into your neighbor's sink. And then, when you release it, when you release uh, uh, the rubber cylinder uh, from pumping, all the water from the upper floor, from your neighbor's uh, um, apartment, is gonna come down rushing down to you. I had that incident happen one time, so make sure, make sure, make sure, make sure that when you put in the hose, that at least you extended the wiring metal uh, into the gutter tubing for at least 25 feet, because that's the distance uh, into the other regions of the sewer, uh, of the tubing that extends all the way down to the sewer. That's why I bought a 25 feet uh, wiring. Uh, uh, extension so this way I know I'm extending the wiring all the way out and whatever is in between it has created either a hole or it has pushed the trash uh, outside the regions of uh, the gutter tube and that's an advice that you really need to hear from experience because as I said I went through that all right if you have any any ideas about what to fix or what to do, please send me a comment. Uh, don't forget to uh, give me thumbs up and please subscribe. It excites me a lot. But I'm gonna try the best I can to give you, uh, give you the results that you're looking for and ideas about how to go about and doing certain things that I know. Once again, thank you very much. Don't forget to uh, give me thumbs up, comments, and subscribe. I really appreciate every one of you 
and have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful night. Thank you.